Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I thought it'd be really fun to do a little kind of BYOP video using all of my Terra Moons shadows. I recently posted a video swatching every single one of these and asked y'all if you would like me to do a video where I just kind of made different color stories using all of my Terra Moon shadows because I know that sometimes looking at a palette like this, there's so many different shades, so many options, it can be a little overwhelming. So I just wanted to show you how I would curate some color stories. And you could of course do this if you have any Terra Moon shadows or single shadows from any brand and just do similar tones or something like that. I also have the El Barrio palette here, which has a few different single shadows. And then here I just have a little palette from Shop Miss A that is currently empty. I figure I'll just use this palette a few times and show you guys a bunch of different options. I also wanna say really quickly for disclaimer's sake that my collection from Terra Moons is partially purchased, partially gifted. So let's just go ahead and jump right on in. So I think I'm gonna start off with a half purple, half neutral palette because that's speaking to me right now. I'm gonna go for this shade right here which is like a plummy brown, because I feel like that will make sense. And when I do a BYOP, I pretty much always try to have some deeper shades, some mid-tone shades, some light shades, and then a mixture of shimmer and matte. That's kind of my idea of a perfect color story. I don't really stray from that all that much. I'm also gonna go ahead and go for this purple shade right here. I believe this is Zero Gravity. It's a white to purple shifting shade. So I think that could be a fun inner corner. I think as far as these neutral shades go, I'm gonna go for this one right here, the one that's a little bit more cool toned. And then I'd also like to do a lighter purple. So I'm thinking maybe this one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this bright purple here and add this right here. I'm gonna go for this bright purple. I wish I had one more like neutral shade. I don't know if I have quite what I'm thinking of. Pop this shade in here. I have a deep indigo, but I don't really, hmm. Mm, okay, I don't think I'm feeling this one. We could always pop in a multi-chrome. Mm, but I feel like it looks green there. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if I'm feeling that either. See, I'm feeling like on this middle row here, I'm missing a neutral pop, but I'm not sure what exactly to go for. Maybe this one? That's a pretty shade. I think that could be cute. Let me, I don't want these two right next to each other. I think I'm gonna do this right there. I think that's a cute little color story. Okay, so first we have that shade right there which is called Zero Gravity and it's just a really beautiful white purple shifting shadow. Actually, if I tilt my arm a little bit more, you can see the shift. It just has a really beautiful purple iridescence to it. Then next we have the shade Meteorite which it's kind of like a neutral soft pink with like a little bit of a golden shift. I probably, if I was going into other palettes, would have chose something even more neutral for this shimmer, but I'm using only Terra Moon's Day, so I think that sh should still work and give me the effect that I want. And then this light purple pastel here, this one is called Libra. Definitely just got that everywhere. Good job. Okay, next we have another purple pastel here. This one is called Lunar Haze. We have a neutral brown, a little bit more on the cool tone side, which is called Thigh Highs. And then we have this beautiful purple shimmer called Wavelength. And then for the last row, we're gonna start off with this really bright purple called UFO. We have this deep 
plum brown, which is called chestnut. And then last but not least, this deep indigo, which is called royal. And I give that one a little extra swatch. So there is the entire purple with a pop of neutral palette. Okay, so next, just looking at everything, I think it would be fun to do like a grungy green color story. So I'm immediately inspired to pull in this shade right here. I really want this shade right here. I'm also thinking that Icono, oh gosh, from the Malbario palette would be good. And then Mi Gente, oh gosh. I have a tool for this. I don't know why I didn't bring it out. I also think that a nice rich brown would be good. Maybe even I could pull in a multi-chrome this time. I feel like that one goes with the color story. Hmm. 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 I'm looking at the inner corner colors and I'm kind of torn on what to do. You know what? Maybe I'll do Phoenix. I feel like Phoenix is perfect. It's one of the coolest shades and this just gives me an opportunity to show it off. So we'll throw that in. Maybe I should have one more map. I'm probably gonna go for this one right here called Root Beer Float. I feel like I could be very basic and either pull in a gold or pull in one of these like really warm shades because I feel like that gets associated with grunge palettes quite often, but that doesn't appeal to me as much. Maybe I could do a yellow. Is that cool? Maybe we'll try that. So, okay, let's see. Definitely gonna have this first. Maybe I'll put the pop of yellow in the middle because it's just a little something different. Does that look cool? Actually, maybe I'll use Phoenix in a little bit. I'm thinking maybe instead of this one, I could do the light yellow there. I don't know if that's grungy enough. I could also actually, instead, I could go in with this shade Ritmo pull in this gold here. Doesn't that, does that feel like it goes a little better? I feel like it does. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so this very first shade here is Ritmo. It's a really intense gold. And then we're gonna have this light brown, which is called Root Beer Float. And then I have the shade Shire, which is a lime green. I feel like I've noticed that the Halloween collection from this year, the mattes are a little bit drier, but there's the first row. Okay, next this olive green shimmer here is called Icono. And then we have Super, super bright yellow. I believe this is Land on the Stars, yes. And then lastly for this row is this beautiful antique golden green shade. It looks more green in person than on camera, but it is called Martian, I'm pretty sure, yes. I feel like that goes with this color story so well. It's not just your like typical bronze. Okay, next we have this olive green called Mi Gente. Super, super pigmented. We have this beautiful, beautiful multi-chrome, which is called Mood Ring. This one shifts from green to blue. You can kind of see that right there. And it does have a black base, so it appears a bit more smoky on the eyes. And then lastly, we have the matte brown called Decadent. Feel pretty. I really like that one. So there is my grunge palette complete. Okay, so here we go again. I really want to do a pink, purple, and blue color story because that's one of my favorite combinations. I really like this blue and this pink. They're really beautiful pastels. And then I could also, honestly, I have this pink. Mm. Yeah, I think I like this one a little bit more for this palette because it's more of a true cool pink, whereas this one, it has a little bit of a rosiness to it. 
and then I also have a light blue which we could possibly put in and then maybe this purple here hmm I also I don't know if it'll go with this now but I love this shade called Moon Tide. It's one of my favorites. I feel like we have to do Orion's Belt. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm running out of room quickly because there's just so many beautiful colors. Hmm. Okay. I think I need a deep blue. Could do an inner corner shade or something else. Hmm. Or I could do a bright pink. Okay. Let me just arrange this for a second and see how I feel. I feel like I could technically do like a blue row, a pink row, and a purple row, like that. But I don't think that speaks to me as much. So looking there, what completes this palette? I could completely change it up and throw in that, like a bright pink, but I feel like that I don't know if that quite goes with the vibe. Or I could move this to the middle. You know what, I might move that one over here like this. Move these over one and then do one more light shade. So I've got four blue, two purples and two pinks. So I feel like I need a purple or a pink inner corner. You know what, I think I'm gonna do Euphoria. Is that Euphoria? Yes, because this one is a purple pink shift. So there we go. I mean, I feel like that looks really, really cute as is. It's like a perfect little cotton candy color story, but I think it's gonna be even more pretty swatched out. It was the fastest one I've done yet. So starting off with the shade Euphoria, like I said, this one has a beautiful purple pink shift. Super strong shift. Why is the shift not showing? What the heck? And then next we have this blue here, which is called X-Ray. It's a really stunning blue. It has a little bit of a purple shift, which works with this color story. And it's just really, really pretty. It's one of the thicker, more flaky ones. But it looks stunning. And then next we have this one right here, which is the same kind of flaky, thick texture. And it is called Andromeda. It's a really beautiful, soft pink. Oh man, I feel like I low-key did that shade dirty by swatching it over the stain on my arm. Wow, <gasps> this is turning into a hot mess, but that is a really, really beautiful shade. I mean, you can see on my fingers, all very stunning. Okay, next we have this really light blue, which is called Daydreamer. I'm gonna do a double swatch. Next we have this pastel pink called Utopia. And then we have a pastel purple called Lunar Haze. That's so cute. Okay, next we have this really beautiful blue called Orion's Belt. Super, super intense. Stunning. We have one of my favorite shades, which is Moon Tide. It has a beautiful blue shift. And then last but not least is this really deep navy called Arabian Nights. It's a little bit drier to the touch, so I think I'm going to probably end up swatching it twice. But it would add some good depth here. So there is my purple, pink, blue, cotton candy-esque palette color story. I really, really like this one. Okay, so last but not least, I don't really know what to do for the final color story today. I'm kind of just doing this at the top of my head of what inspires me, but I know I really want to give this shadow Phoenix its own moment because it's one of the most beautiful shadows ever. It's, let me just, let me swatch it. It has a mixture of blue, gold, orange. It's one of the prettiest eyeshadows I've ever seen in my life. Let's see with the mirror here, the shift a little bit more. It's just so, so beautiful. Okay, so to go alongside that, I feel like maybe we could do like a really warm color story or something, but have it be very bright at the same time. 
So I'm kind of wanting to pull towards this orange right here. I'm also thinking maybe I'll end up using this red or actually, you know what? Mm, no, we'll keep that there for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and pull into El Barrio and hmm, I'm thinking probably Salvaje would make sense here. Probably Sangre. Pop in this beautiful soft yellow. Even when I did my swatch video, I said oh, those two would look really pretty together. I'm thinking I've got to pull in this yellow, right? That just goes with this. But then that kind of makes it super basic and I don't want it to be basic. Hmm. How can I spice this palette up? Okay, I think I'm gonna pull into this shade right here called Bonfire because it's a pink with an orange base. So I feel like that's something a little different to include. I'm still kind of torn on this one. We'll think about it. The shade Honey is a really pretty warm color. I feel like that's overall like a very fiery color story. Hmm, in some spaces this almost looks like it has a blue base. So maybe I could pull in like a pop of blue. That feels really basic too. <laughs> then again, I mean, I you can just make color stories and have fun with it. It doesn't have to be something completely revolutionary. I'm holding myself to way too high of a standard for just messing around with shadows right now. I think that is cute. And at least even if it is more of a basic color story, there's some really beautiful textures. Okay, I think that's it. That is our fiery color story. You know what? It's a it's Phoenix. It makes sense with a fire, right? Then again, fire does sometimes get blue. Why am I doing this to myself? Mm, I don't like that. Oh, that's very primary colors. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna leave it as is. Okay, so obviously first we have the shade Phoenix. We already know. I love that one. I don't know why I'm doing such a gigantic swatch. Then we have this beautiful soft yellow called Yo. We have the matte neon yellow Land on the Stars. We have this beautiful warm gold called Honey. Super, super pretty. We have our really bright orange here, which this one was Salvaje. Oh wait, no. Okay, that's why I'm confused, I'm sorry. This shade right here is called Solstice. For some reason I thought it was in the um, El Barrio palette. So now we have Salvaje, which is that bright orange matte. We have this matte deep orange, which is called Cognac. We have the orange to pink shimmer called Bonfire. And then last but not least, we have the shade Sangre, which is a bright red. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that right here. It definitely has a little bit more of like a pinky undertone to it but I think that overall is a really cute, warm color story. So this is the last finished BYOP today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the concept of this and you want me to do it with other brands, just let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.